How's it going everybody? I'm going to be demonstrating a technique I have discovered called the bridge. Uh, it's kind of like a cable. It adds a three-dimensional texture to your knitting, but it is not. So you see the bridge right here. I call it a bridge because it looks very much like a bridge. You see that there's kind of two dimples next to it and a raised portion. That raised portion you can actually stick your knitting needle under. Um, they're large holes, but there are stitches behind them. This is the other side of the bridge right here. Um, so, it, as you can see, it's kind of like a cable, except it doesn't cross left to right. I knitted one here and there. Uh, it's just a cool technique that you can add to sweaters or hats or something. I've never added them to a sweater or hat or anything, but I'm going to after this video. So. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this technique. Basically what I'm going to do is <clears throat> it's a four stitch bridge. So I'm going to increase two stitches, put four stitches onto a cabling needle, hold it to the front, increase two stitches, then go to the end of the row, then I'm going to knit three rows, then I'm going to decrease two stitches, put the stitches back on the knitting needles, knit them, decrease two stitches, and then go to the end of the row. Uh, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. I've already increased two stitches. I have 12 on this side and I'll have 16 on this side so I'm going to take four off with my high-tech knitting or cabling needle I like to call my bobby pin. So take four off. I'm going to hold it to the front, and usually you would knit four, then put them back on on this row. I'm just going to hold these to the front. They're just going to stay there. So I'm going to, the, this is a, this first knit is tight, and it doesn't have to look nice because it's actually going to be hidden. Uh, then I'm going to do an increase, knit, increase, knit to the end of the row, but I'm going to skip ahead of that. Um, but I am going to, uh, the increases should be slanted towards your bridge. So on this side I have left slanting, and this side I'll have right slanting. And then when I decrease I'll want the same thing, left, right, slanted. So I'm just going to fast forward. Uh, just know that I increase, hold to the front, increase, knit three rows, and then put them back on. So I'm going to skip ahead to that. Okay, so I have knitted three rows. And you can see the stitches are still hanging out here on my bobby pin slash cable needle. And you see the stitches have pretty much reformed. It's a little tight, uh, ugly here, but these are going to be covered up. So what I've done is I decreased two stitches on these sides. These are two knit two together left leaning uh, decreases. Um, so I'm going to put these back on my left needle knit them as normal and then I'm going to decrease two right leaning on the other side. So they can be a little tight because they're jumping three rows but just be patient. Don't yank on them. They'll be fine. So that's the four I put on. You see there's this gap there. So now I'm going to uh, right lean decrease, slip slip knit. I do this kind of weird. I don't think other people do this that way, but it's just how I've done it. So now if I knit to the end, I'll have, I'll have maintained the number of stitches for their, all the rows. And then it won't come out nice until you've knitted a couple more rows, just like cables. 
So I'm going to pause, knit a couple more rows, and then show you how uh, the finished product comes out. Okay, so I've knitted three rows after joining the stitches back up, and you can see that it has the uh, same puckered dimples here, the raised portion, exactly like a bridge. You can holster your knitting needles in there if you like. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't done much with this, I've just tried out a couple ways of doing it. I'm going to try pairing it with some cables, maybe a cable running up through here, maybe you know, use some colors to make it look like a path going over some water or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's a cool technique though. Um, I thought it would look really ugly when I tried it, but there's no holes. You can't really tell because there's these stitches in the back that kind of cover up any holes. So on a uh, <clears throat> on a cable, sometimes you can see holes on on holes on either side and uh, if you're a perfectionist like me, not not a very good one, uh, you get kind of annoyed, but there's no holes for this one. You could look down through this, it's like a wormhole, you know? <laughs> it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to try, you know, making some cool designs with it, and if anyone wants to remix it, or if anyone has inf any information of someone who's done this before, you know, nothing is new under the sun, so I guarantee it someone has done this before, if you could tell me, that'd be great. So, hope you enjoy it. I'm going to uh, type out a detailed description of how I did this because this video is kind of rushed. Um, so, thank you very much.